In July of 2009, Lisa Wasaki landed in the ER, claiming that she had a heart attack after spending a night on her bedroom floor in excruciating pain. Did she really have a heart attack, or was it something else? Wisaki's adult son had passed away the previous day after an overdose due to his struggle with mental illness. After the doctors ran a few tests on her, they concluded it wasn't a heart attack. It was actually what doctors called takotsubo cardiomyopathy, apical ballooning syndrome, or stress cardiomyopathy. We know it as the broken heart syndrome. Broken heart is not simply a term coined by romantic novelists, angsty lovesick teens, or Hollywood movies. Rather, it is a real, severe medical condition. In broken heart syndrome, there's a temporary disruption of your heart's normal pumping function, while the remainder of the heart functions normally or with even more forceful contractions. Doctors note that patients diagnosed with broken heart syndrome usually have just undergone stressful situations which yielded major stress on their heart's functioning ability. Cardiologist Ian Whitston has been studying the condition for a decade and states that several of his broken-hearted patients had just experienced the death of a loved one or trauma such as a severe car accident or robbery. When undergoing broken heart syndrome, your body releases a vast amount of chemicals and this sudden flood can shock your heart muscle, leaving it unable to pump like it normally would. As a result, the patient may develop fatal heart failure. Doctors advise those that are experiencing chest pain, shortness of breath, arm pain, or sweating, and fear that they are experiencing an extreme case of heartbreak syndrome, rather than a minor case, should check into a hospital immediately. Have you ever gone through a heartbreak? How did you overcome it? If you would like, you can describe your experience in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other social media. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.